Hey guys, Spartan117GW and welcome to another video. We're going to be going over the Team Wendy LTP. Now, as you know, I've been rocking the Team Wendy series of helmets, particularly the x for a little bit over a year now. It's actually kind of amazing how long I've had that thing. Um, and what's great is that after SHOT Show, uh, I talked to some of the guys and they sent me this LTP, which is their second newest helmet as of literally just a few days ago. The Ballistic just came out on the market. but. Of course, this is the LTP. So now, what is the LTP? It's basically a more budget and economical um, version for some of you guys out there who are looking for a bump helmet, but you really, maybe you don't even need the carbon fiber. Maybe you just need a really basic bump helmet, or maybe you're doing mill sim or something like that. Uh, this is pretty much right up your alley. Costing only $300, um, what you get is an integrated Wilcox shroud, which is really nice. Like, it's part of the helmet. Um, it's not going anywhere. It's great that it's uh, also, you know, integrated. Um, but you're also getting the, the rail 2.0s or the T-slot rails that go on the side. So you get the upgraded 2.0 rails. Now, what's actually really cool is not only does it have a uh, Mo Picatinny there, you can also mount these mini tinnies right here. Um, those are really great if you're mounting like a small light, like a Princeton Tech or something, some kind of small loom device or map reading or land nav, something really small you can mount right there and it's kind of out of the way. As you can see, with the rail 2.0s and even with the rail um, 1.0s, you can mount these uh, Team Wendy Peltor adapters. Uh, really great that you know all the same features that made the x wonderful carry over, including you know the Velcro layout, which I was a big fan of. You got the two large rectangular portions right here, so you can mount your flags and other cool identifying uh, marks as well. Um, you also have this top portion, uh, really kind of, even the shape of it is really kind of designed for like a mantis strobe. Of course, I got a V-Light right there. And then you have the back part right here. So there's plenty of real estate back here. And just like the x you have this little shock cord retention there. So you can, um, you know, kind of, I guess you could say, and extra security if you put a counterweight or battery pack or something on the back i had a little bit extra security to keep in place uh same goes for the shock cord in the front if you have any kind of you know optical devices or anything like that hook this up to them um, you can also use the zip ties as well in conjunctions with them because uh, it doesn't work with every single device that's out there but to kind of keep all your you know high dollar value items secured now the biggest difference or in the actual material itself is the inside of the helmet as you can see it's using to say more a traditional padding system, but um, you know, I almost wouldn't even call it traditional in, in some ways because they've actually taken the padding system that a lot of helmets have really gone to the next level. Um, as you can see, there's actually like a thinner pad on top. So not only do you have like the main pads, but you also have these thinner pads, uh, which are great because they kind of add a little bit greater amount of adjustability because you know everyone's head is shaped differently different sizes of course and it kind of gives you a little bit more flexibility depending on what you know what kind of specs you really need you know what i'm saying and um given that it's using a padding system like this instead of kind of the tubular crush system that the old uh, xfil has the impact rating isn't as great also happens to be because it's also using polymer instead of carbon fiber but for aerosol for milsim and for you know everyday bump use this is definitely a good way to go um, you're also going to get the same boa closure system and you know the awesome team money strap with kind of like that low profile slick buckle um, all, all that carries over so more or less if you liked all the features of the xfil and you were on a budget the LTP pretty much is the answer for you. And the helmet covers that work for the Expo also work for the LTP. So you can kind of give your helmet a kind of a different makeover if you want black or multicam or high vis or something. I'm still pushing for them to do green and, you know, wolf gray because that would be great. Cause just give different um, different options out there. Cause you know, sometimes you're in a Milson game, you gotta be on the green team and tan side. It's kind of nice to have a helmet that matches the, the color of your camo scheme. But even if you're not a Milson guy, if you're a real steel guy, or just want some kind of cool looking helmet to man all your cool gizmos to, the LTP is a really good option and it's not going to break the bank you know 300 bucks uh, is definitely you know not quite up on the high end but in the range that helmets that are out there that are high quality it's it's a pretty good pretty good steal considering you're also getting a shroud as well so make sure you guys check it out it's the team wendy ltp great bunch of guys a lot of input and a lot of innovation going on over there so make sure you guys follow them so i'll see you guys next time thank you guys for watching
Spartan 117 GW, and I'm here with... Little Solera. And make sure you guys subscribe too. Spartan 117 GW. And make sure you guys check it out for these four. Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.